to Fly is a game of arduous patience, really. You know, if I were to tell you that focus and consistent angle of casting and covering likely water is the approach, I mean, that's about as simple of approach as you can get, but it's, it is also a game of arduous patience. You have to have the right mindset because I have spent many a day looking for that one or none for that matter. I mean, a good day is fishing great water and, and hopefully connecting with, uh, with one of those beautiful wild fish that we so often see. Steelhead basically position themselves to either hold or move. And so if you believe the fish are moving, typically, you know, you want to fish the heads and tails. I mean, that's where I would probably fish if I thought the fish were moving. People talk a lot about color when it comes to steelhead. I think it's more about confidence. There is the good old fashioned rule, maybe that uh, dark fly, dark day, and bright fly, bright day. And I think really in the big picture, when it comes to fishing for steelhead, you put something on that you know has worked for you before and you have confidence in it and you fish likely water. times where I will take steps in between my cast, meaning I make my cast, swing it out, come to the hang down, and then I'll take my steps. There are other times where I'll actually use what I call the sink step, meaning I feel like I need to get my fly down a little bit deeper and I'll, I'll take my steps once I come under tension to slow the fly down and let it sink a little bit more. And in fact, at times I'll actually even feed a bit of line into the swing if I feel like my fly isn't getting down deep enough the the fish zone if you will you should always prepare for that run based on depth and flow having the right tip on for the run is is crucial having your fly dragging across the bottom is not a good idea first of all you're hanging up second of all you're not fishing you're not swinging so lighter would be better than heavier at times the idea of spending my whole day in two runs, it's, it, it's enjoyable, but I would rather fish buckets that might be 100 feet long as opposed to spending my whole day in two runs. The day is based on where you believe the fish are. If they're traveling, look for those transition buckets, look for the heads and tails. And if you believe the fish are holed up and the water's lowering and clearing, you may need to fish the guts of, guts of a run and, and certain rivers you may need to put some heavier stuff on to get down to them. There's a couple rivers um, that I fish that they have a, a good amount of flow and a good amount of depth. One of my favorite tips on these rivers would be utilizing like seven and a half feet of T18. That's a lot of weight. You know, you got to make sure you're lining your rod correctly to throw seven and a half feet of T18 and a slightly weighted bug. I'm not a big fan of throwing big dumbbell eye flies. I, I tend to like to throw an unweighted fly or a slightly weighted fly and utilize the tip to get me down.
the last couple of days, I've had uh, four or five encounters uh, with with only one fish landed, and I, you know, you, it's a perplexing situation. You wonder how the heck you can have a fish literally put a bolt of energy into your arm and hand when he takes it and is peeling line off and big head shakes and then he's gone. You know, it's a, it makes you rethink, how do you tie your fly better? Do the fish eat it head on? Predatory fish, when they're eating other types of smaller fish, generally eat them head on because that's the way they can digest them down their system easier. So you say to yourself, am I using the right hook? Is this stinger hook the best thing? It might be the best thing for a, a hang down fish, but is it the best thing for a, a fly that's broadside to a fish that decides to crush it? Good, it's a good question. It makes you rethink everything you're doing and wonder and wonder if you are doing the right thing at times. Again, I would re-emphasize the fact that if you did find one that did crush it and you didn't land them and and you didn't beach them, then you know, give yourself some kudos because you worked the water and, and you found a fish that wanted to play.